everyone, so today I'm here to do the first book review of the month and that is going to be on Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Leviathan. The first things first, I'm going to read from the book jacket to let you guys know, if you don't already know, what this book is about. Lily has left a red notebook full of challenges on a favorite bookstore shelf, waiting for just the right guy to come along and accept his stares. But is Dash that right guy? Or are Dash and Lily only destined to trade dares, dreams, and desires in the notebook that they pass back and forth at locations across New York? Across New York, Could their in-person selves possibly connect as well as their notebook versions? Or will it be a comic mismatch of disastrous proportions? That's pretty much what it's about. I really enjoyed this book, guys. Um, I knew I would. A lot of people love this book, and I can understand why. The writing alone in it was just great. I thought the way each character was represented and how they were so completely different. I really enjoyed that. There were a couple things I didn't like about the book, but you know, they, there weren't very many. The only, the big thing I think I didn't like about it was I liked Lily. Lily to me, and I don't know if I'm going to be stepping on anybody's toes by this, was kind of immature. I know she was 16, but oftentimes when I read her, I felt like she was acting like she was 10. But I guess that's, you know, that's how they wanted the character portrayed. They wanted her to be a, you know, kind of younger, whimsical girl, if you will. And I, you know what, she kind of reminded me almost the girl from, just from New Girl, the show. Because they're both just so, you know, kind of whimsical and out there and a little bit crazy. But I love Lily altogether, don't get me wrong. But there were certain parts I was just like, Lily, you're 16 years old. Let's kind of step it up a bit. That was it. I loved Dash. I thought he was a great character. I think he just was amazing. And I love the whole concept of this story. I never really read a book, you know, that's had something like this going on where you pass a book back and forth and you just realize and you just learn about somebody else through talking to them via books, which doesn't happen too often because it's the 21st century and people are just... We're all about computers and Skyping and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of nice to see a pen pal um, sort of story, and I really enjoyed it. I love how it was wintry in New York, and it was just kind of Christmassy, and it was just great. And I loved the writing. I cannot say that enough. The way they wrote back and forth to her, the way the writers, David and Rachel, just displayed the whole story was beautiful. I thought, uh, I just really enjoyed this book. I really think you should read it. I think it's for everybody, honestly. Um, I'm going to make this review short and sweet because this book is already short and sweet, so so shall this review be. This book a 5 out of 5 because overall, I think it's one of my favorites. I think it's just a great book. I'm probably going to read every Christmas now just because it's wintry and nice. And I think the storyline is just very... It's not too sweet, but it's not too bitter. It's just right there in the middle. So if you're looking for a good Christmassy, wintry book, definitely pick up Dash and Lee's Book of Dares. That is all for me, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.